This is to demonstrate how the Jamalto SafeNet Key Management and Encryption Platform KeySecure can solve your column level database challenges using the ProtectDB connector. I'll be using a virtual environment for this demonstration consisting of one Windows 2012 R2 server, which acts as my SQL database server, one Windows 7 desktop as my client, and the ProtectDB connector or agent is installed on the Windows 2012 R2 server. And of course, I'm also running a third virtual server, which is the Key Secure Virtual Appliance, which we are accessing via the HTTPS graphical interface. The use case I'll be demonstrating is securing individual columns of a table in an SQL Server database using a mix of standard encryption and format preserving encryption. I'll also be showing how we can specify alternatives for what the user sees. In this use case, we are defining access to the original data for fin director and access only to the encrypted data for everyone else, even the database administrator. On the KeySecure Management Console, as you can see, I've registered our database server. And by clicking on it, you're led to the tables with encrypted columns that have been defined. Let's take a look at the customer data table. Here we have encrypted four columns. The account column, the social security number column, the email column, and the card number column. If we take a look at them individually, you can see that we have many options. For instance, here we have used format preserving encryption to encrypt the account column. Because we've used FPE, we can safely return the encrypted value to non-privileged users without fear of breaking the application query. For the email column, we've used standard encryption, which means the encrypted value will be completely unrecognizable as an email address. So to keep continuity, we've set a static mask to return the literal value customer at email.com. And we've done the same thing for card number, returning the 16 digit number as a mask. Lastly, as you can see, we have mapped the SQL database user fin director as the only legitimate user to have access to the original protected data. All other users will be returned our encrypted or masked values. Let's have a look at the data. On the left, I'm logged into the database's fin director. On the right, a second session as the database administrator. Showing just the first 10 rows of data from the customer data table, we can see that as fin director, we can view all the original data. But at the same time, running the same query on the right as SA, the database administrator, we get fictitious account and social security numbers, although maintaining the correct format. We also get the static masked email addresses and card numbers that we specified in KeySecure and we have no access at all to the original data which is sitting in an encrypted state in the database. Format preserving encryption, or FPE, and static masking allows you to protect your data without having to rewrite your applications. Thank you for watching, and for more information on how we can help you protect your data, please visit safenet.jamalto.com.